Hey everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. We met with Ulan, and now he wants us to communicate this, uh... I don't know if it's treaty is the right word? Let's... They're calling it an offer, so we'll stick with that. We need to communicate this offer here. And then we have uh, Kurt's quest to help him on. We have to meet with another ambassador. I imagine at some point, Siora will give us more of a quest. A personal one. Your Excellency, Lord Desade, and to what do I owe this honor? Well, funny you should ask. I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Treaty is right. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. He's open. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? Hmm. I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. Okay. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us. And he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take <laughs> oh. a foul turn. Okay. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Okay, so what if... And this may be a big if, but what if... Just by chance... This is some elaborate ruse by either side to kind of infiltrate and find information about those other, about the other uh, clan or faction or whatever you want to call them. And now we're basically saying, yep, cool, this guy's in. We've kind of vouched for him. And if something goes wrong, that's kind of going to be on our head. But and he's also thinking, well, if something goes wrong over there, then we've got this guy in town that we can then utilize. So it's this weird back and forth um, that I'm not sure is going to work out for everyone. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out. Let's actually... Uh... Oh, that's blocked over there. Okay. Let's actually walk through the city here. Uh, this light, by the way, uh, some people may not know. But there's a light that you can activate here, uh, which is kind of nice. We just found that out recently. Keep our eye out for anything that we might be able to grab. And actually, even this merchant, I'm going to see about um, buying some more ammo. Another thing that one of you guys brought up. Welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hickman. I believe it. And always in the vanguard of progress. Okay. Overselling. That's fine. With the origin of her products. Interesting. One second. Uh, okay, I'm going to buy all the ammo that I can. Uh, you, some of you guys were saying that it might make sense to recycle our items at the crafting tables instead of selling them for what equals not... You don't really get a ton, right? Uh, just looking for anything that might give us cool bonuses. Oh, here's a science plus one. Here is a science plus one. Cabin boy's jacket. I'll take the alchemist outfit. Uh, wait, hold on. What's this one? 
This one's alchemist as well, but doesn't give us the uh, science. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for your visit. Thank you. Oh, I want to ask her about the origin here. See where that goes. Your Excellency. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Hmm, okay. Thanks for your visit. That's really helpful. Um, I don't want to switch into this right now, but... We'll wear our doublet of good fortune, plus it looks baller. These weird little sheep farms. Bet you there's some shady dealings in there. We'll be sure to investigate one day. I guess since we've kind of been in this area a little bit now, we're not going to find much back and forth. I just wanted to do kind of a sweep, but... In the future, we'll just kind of jump... Ah, see, here we go. Finally. <laughs> For the barrage. Hey, what the hell? Please, help me. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Are these the... They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. Whoa. Aha! Well, either one of these is good. I never thought I would see several Islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. <laughs> I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? Does it feel You're like an insult? You're insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased an Anaixe away, and he cannot sell his products. Adloreda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. At Loreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about these tensions that are rising from this uh, rebel group and this this faction. Um, even kind of turning on their own guy, that's a little bit questionable. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so we'll go back to Ulan and we're gonna tell him that uh, we're gonna send an emissary or they're gonna send an emissary. Uh, down here. Now, we won't tell him, of course, that, uh... That what our guy said about keeping his own... Or letting that guy in just in case something happens. Desarde, I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous. But with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. Okay, so he's just going to tell us that same thing. I got gotcha. you. No, we're good. I must leave you. Thanks. Oh, 
Well, that's convenient. Who's this guy? Ulan. I see that the governor oh. of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, <laughs> I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. Okay. I hope that you will reach an agreement. Wait outside for two hours. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? Two hours? What's a guy supposed to do out here for two hours? There's nothing in this area that we haven't seen. Ah, uh, that's not necessarily true. Let's go and check out some of these things. I imagine... Ah, uh, wait a sec. Is this an opening back here? No. It's like an altar. Balance potion, some ammo. As far as I know, we don't have a way to like... Oh, here's a kick. I mentioned before I didn't know how to do a kick. Left control. Okay. Okay, so I, th I think we have to go... Oh, a skill altar. Didn't see that. That's where we have to go. The Shore of Tall Bones. And they called them... This they, this clan is called the Bone Blowers. It's a fitting name, I guess. Oh, God. Firearms are so good. Honestly, they're so good. Uh... Wait, what? Is... Oh, are you kidding me? It's not possible just now. Level one science and alchemical preparation. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's so sick. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's switch this back. Okay, what should we go into next? We got reduced the cost of stasis. I actually think it's already pretty good. Firearms card cause a greater loss of balance. Allows the use of rifles instead of pistols. Yes, please. That would be really cool. Increase the destruction of armor of the alchemical preparation of al alchemical damage. Now, let's do this. So balance, and then we can get into uh, rifles. Then we get into, like, machine guns, sniper rifles. I'm just kidding. All right, let's head back. This is like almost perfect timing, actually. Okay, good to know. Some of these uh, skill alters are gonna be hidden behind other skills or attributes that we may require. And having just picked up that alchemist's robe, this comes in pretty handy. 
I see no reason to ever get rid of these things. This is going to be awkward, I feel. So, come in. <laughs> come in. They're both dead. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Which is Mordun, correct. The chief of the village of Egugsob is a Denea Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your island are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. Uh. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... I am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At Redar, we will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. I mean, if this guy is screwing me, <laughs> I'm gonna be real choked. Like, real choked. Because we can head out in this direction. We can also just travel from this camp, which I th or here even, which I think we'll do. Uh, oh, wait a sec. Okay, so no, we don't need to. It's just outside of this section, I guess. I don't know, something, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm being too cynical. Maybe I'm being a little bit too untrustworthy. Or untrusting, I should say. What is this? Traveler's diary page? At the edge of the woods, when I was taking the route north towards the heart of the mountain, I saw on the road to the left behind the bushes a bridge which led to a chest. Makes you wonder who could have left a chest in such a place. Surely a not treasure. Night is falling. I'll go and look tomorrow. Okay, at the edge of the woods, I was taking the route north towards the heart of the mountain. It's on the road to the left behind the bushes, a bridge. To the heart of the mountain, though? Like, maybe it could be in here. Oh. Huh. I kind of feel like that would be relatively close by. Oh, hello. This is definitely it. But guess what? We don't have the vigor. Son of a... Okay. Is there another way? I kind of feel like probably not. Yeah. Magnificent feathers. Oh, okay. These guys do give something. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, no. Alchemical mix of magic damage, worn tricorns, old blackened sword. He tried to make it. This is him. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is impossible to climb. Oh, this is this this kind of stuff will 
this will ruin me. I'm gonna see it. See, though, there's like that patch of grass back there. I don't know if there's any way of maybe getting down from around the cliff or something. I'm thinking no. So unfortunately, uh, hold on. No, it blocks us. It's so close, I can taste it! Alright, well, without Vigor 2, that's just not happening. As far as I can tell, so. You know, maybe one day when we get a whole bunch of extra points to spend... actually check something. Yeah, and it's and it's vigor of all things. Like I just feel like Hmm. Uh, one level in this may actually not be bad. Because of the um the regen outside of combat. And then if we can find something that gives us a plus, you know, like this charisma, we have the plus um, could be kind of nice. Now, wait a second. I don't have a way to get up here, do I? I need a bit of practice. Level three? What is happening? Is it just Vigor Central? Hey, it looks like we might have to go around. If possible. Uh-huh. Yeah! We're starting to get our... We're starting to feel a rhythm. It'd be cut by an artisan. Mm -hmm. So I guess... Had we had the vigor... Or if we had the vigor... We could avoid... This death trap. Come on. I do wonder, though, um... Because we get experience when we kill these things, right? So... If we take the, the Vigor path... We just miss out on that, I would think. Or maybe we get a... Maybe we get some compensation just by using the secret path. Give me these over those vampire things. Any day. So, and this is, I guess, where we would drop down. Man. <laughs> the more we run into these vigor checks, the more I think that would kind of be an interesting uh, build. I want to just see up here for a second. Huh. Huh. 
Yeah, so we would climb up here. I guess there's a way of getting up there too, or maybe you would access it from here. I'm not sure. Uh, we should probably have switched this, but it seems to be okay. Like, I think having that loot chance is nice. It would be cool if you could assign, like, um, predetermined loadout and swap between that quickly, but that might be a bit... I don't know. Sometimes I even feel like stuff like that's a bit gamey and takes me out of it a bit. gonna grab all of this stuff. We got more beasts on the left. I'm not super worried about them for the time being. We could fight. Oh, I did not want to do that. Just wasted a potion there. I love Kurt's go-to, like, war cry. <laughs> Move away! Things are about to get dicey. He's right. He is, he is right, technically. Uh, there's something back here I'm going to run and check before we go deeper. Oh, there's a chest sitting right there. That's what it is. Okay. Kind of a little throwdown here, guys. If you're ready for it. I think we are. Hot springs. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them here. Damn it. Come on now. There we go. Oh, he knocks us back anyway. I'm coming. Okay, now... Is there a thing... Uh... Resuscit... Okay, resuscitation powder? I'm pretty sure that this brings one of our guys back up, if I'm not mistaken. We don't need to do that right now, because they're going to come back anyway, but I think we can do it that way. Intact hearts. Okay, hey, that... Oh, man. Now we're getting off at, like, who the frick knows where. This is cool down here. Uh... Uh... Is that... 
Is that... Oh god, there's one there. There's something there too. Is that the same thing that we fought that came off the boat? <laughs> Look at these giant beasts everywhere. What the frick? Oh boy. 